Hey everyone, welcome along to the channel today. Today you're joining me on a kind of a last minute walk. I had um, <clears throat> maybe another plan today, but uh, life um, doesn't always go to plan and uh, fam working, um, trying to get out for these videos and photos around family life and full-time work and everything else. Uh, just waiting for the dog. It can be a bit difficult. Um, so anyway, I had another plan today, so I'm on a bit of a last minute, a short walk to uh, some local turbines. Wrong way, over there. Now I've been here, I've been here a few times before. Uh, last time I came up was with my uh, Zero Image 4x5. I think I mostly shot it on like the super wide setting. Um, today I've got my Ondo 4x5 Rise. Um, so I'm going to see what I can get with that today. Got a few shots to get through. Um, yeah, gonna have a little little mooch. See if we can. Uh, Get some nice photos in. I think I've got about 10 second exposures today with the um, Foma Pan 100. The blades are spinning quite fast. So hopefully they won't be too blurred out. I'm hoping for the exposure time and with the sun on them, it should create a little bit of a, a fan. It's even gonna create a little bit of a fan or it's just gonna look like some posts sticking out the ground. and. It's not quite as exciting as a turbine, but anyway, let's uh, keep walking and uh, get set up. I'm not sure if it's picking up, but I love the sound uh, these makers are spinning around. It feel, sounds uh, absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to set my first shot up. Uh, I'm going to try and get a reflection in the paddle. I'm partly uh, doubting how wide uh, the Ondo is. It might. I'm going to have to use the rise pinhole, I think, to kind of get the uh, higher foreground. But I'm going to see if I can just get the camera low enough to the puddle to maybe get a slight reflection and uh, all of the turbine in as well and we'll get a meter reading see what we've got okay so i've got my camera set up the first shot looking straight over directly to the turbine hopefully going to get a little bit of a reflection i'm going to use the higher pinhole so it'll get just a little bit of the water and um, hopefully all the turbine but hopefully in that little patch of water I should have a little bit of a reflection so I'm just going to get a quick uh, light meter reading uh, F22 that is coming out at the highlights, I want all the highlights today 25 20 it's the 20th of a second oh look at that so we've got 2.5 seconds and the reciprocity on 2.5 seconds is 9, 9 or 10, we'll go 9, we'll keep it a little bit shorter. So just uh, come across this nice little yellow sign with the Danger Underground Cables written on it. Um, again, got it pointed directly at the 
a, um, what do you call them, turbine. Hopefully you should get that danger sign quite nice and close to it. I'm just looking off down there, so it should just squeeze into the frame. I'm going to use the rise pinhole again, so not getting too much of the foreground. I should get all the turbine. Um, yeah, another nine seconds. Ten, nine, something like that. Kind of weird being under it. Especially going that fast. Hopefully, going to get this one looking straight up. Now I've got it fairly centered, so I'm going to use a center pin hole. I want to capture some of this sitting around it. Get out of the way. Oh, I think I'm yielding dog poo. It's mud. Hopefully. Right, that's um, what are we doing? So we're uh, just starting to head back with the dog because he's he's had enough. Um, come across another puddle. I wonder if it's going to be a bit nicer than the last one I was at. Um, I got a little bit of grass in it. I'm going to use a centre pinhole this time to maybe hopefully get more reflection in the puddle with it. Picks anything up, and hopefully this maybe some of that grass in the foreground. I'm not sure. Um, so, okay, this is, being this far back, it should be plenty wide enough with the centre pinhole. Let's just double check that light meter reading, make sure that's not... Yeah, still good, still good. Ooh. Right, centre, which one's that? That one. So you may have noticed I've added a, a, a new addition to my Ondu 4x5, which is this fancy little red L bracket. Um, I've previously just had uh, a couple of tripod mounts, head mounts, um, clipped in, which have worked fine, but they quite often came loose and you didn't really have a lot of adjustment on you know, sliding the camera along a bit or anything. Um, so I wanted something, some, something more secure to pick that up for a few quid. Nice to just bolts underneath, lips over the side. So there was a tripod head there anyway, but so you can keep that there. Yeah, makes things a lot more secure. Doesn't loosen off, hopefully. But at least if it loosens, it's not gonna get the um, wobble the uh, tripod head plate does. So, it looks quite fancy in red as well, I think. Customised. We'll have to do some flames on it as well. And some uh, little lights.
Now I've got a shot here last time I was out actually, except the grass was a lot longer. And um, I think I had the uh, zero on like the amazingly wide. So I'm gonna try a bit of a landscapey shot here, I think. Kind of maybe from about this angle with the tree and the uh, pylon. Pylon. Uh, turbine, turbine, that's what it is, isn't it? It's got a nice day for it anyway. Some real nice clouds and stuff, so. Set it up. <laughs> kind of now thinking actually. Um, because there's not really anything in the foreground. I probably want to use the rise pinhole landscape. Um, actually, I put the bracket on the wrong way around, didn't I? So, um... Just try to think it out, think it out. That's the right way, isn't it? So hopefully, that tri uh, tripod of the camera is pointing kind of centre between the images, the images, the tree and the turbine. I'm following the line, should kind of get a nice bit over there. Hopefully all this tree, yep, all the tree. And then following the lines on the side of the camera, should just sit just below that tree line. And then I'm hoping it should go above the tree line. Make sure I've got that all doing the right way. Another double exposure. Right, so that's me, packed up. Got to head back now. Um, oh, running a lot later than I was uh, hoping. Thankfully on the way home, when the dog knows he's going home, he moves a bit quicker. Uh, so anyway guys, I really hope you've enjoyed that. Hopefully all them photos have come out all right. Um, be interesting to see. I'm still kind of, uh, maybe partly learning with the uh, on -do to how exactly wide it is and what's actually fitting into the frame. So coming here today is certainly gonna be uh, a bit of an eye opener, um, figuring out what's what and what, hopefully I've made the right decisions. Uh, but regardless, I really hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the photos. Make sure you check out my other stuff. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Any questions, any advice, I'm always open to it, so please comment away and uh, subscribe and uh, join me next time. I look forward to it and uh, thanks for watching. See you guys soon.